Okay, I'm here at 45573 via Yaka in Temecula. Trying to make a little video clip. This is the entrance. Actually, it's a three car garage, even though property profile was showing two car garage. It's a two story home in a lovely neighborhood. Uh, it's nice and clean, and it's a very tranquil place, it seemed like. And we are going through the side paved flooring. And this is the entrance to the house. It's double door. Two steps to get in. And this is the it looks like tile flooring. I'm going to close the door in the front and uh, kind, of, kind of give a look of the entrance area and the living room. You have the winding staircase going up. I'm going to do the best I can. This is a raw video, so I hope you guys can understand that. So one thing I noticed, uh, which I usually like, is a high ceiling at the entrance. And with plenty of windows, high custom windows, that uh, give you plenty of light coming into the house. It looks like the homeowners are packing or have packed, getting ready to move. And then you have the formal dining area, also with a nice arch-like ceiling. It's very nice. And you got uh, two pillars, side pillars, uh, Greek architecture going inside uh, this uh, formal dining area and then to your left you have the entrance to the kitchen it's a appear to be a big kitchen with plenty of cabinet space also again this area is tile flooring, custom tile flooring, and there's a beautiful window, a lot of, a lot of windows to look outside. There's a fireplace and the family room right next to the kitchen, and you have this plenty of custom cabinets all over. And any woman who like, or a man who like a large kitchen, they should definitely do it. And over here, family room. And large corridor going to the downstairs room or to the garage, I think. And uh, I guess let's take a look at inside first and then we go outside. And here you have a pantry or you have a closet rather. Down here. And uh, so I guess uh, there is no pantry uh, here in the kitchen. That's why you have plenty of uh, cabinets for that. This is your counter, kitchen counter, sink. Six burner stove.
cabinets are nice. This is your vent, kitchen vent. There's a room to the right, downstairs. I'm trying to see what it is. Assumably, and then it looked like it's an office room. They have set it up as an office. There's two, I mean, double door entrance. A window to look outside. And this is a fairly large office room. Has no closet, so it is definitely office. But I have seen some people utilize it as a guest bedroom because there, there are bathrooms down here. This is the washer dryer. Laundry room. Right downstairs. Also with the tile flooring. Has a door going outside. And also plenty of cabinets. Cabinet space. Large sink. Suitable for a family laundry room. Washer dryer here. And to my left again, there is a full bathroom. I assume it's a full bathroom. There is a... Looking for the lights. Yeah, there is a shower here. There is a shower here. Toilet. Single sink. Mirrors on the walls. And then you get the shower. Large shower. So there is a full bathroom down, down here. This, of course, is the garage. It's three car garage, even though it is all stacked up. Look like they only use two spaces. They do have lots of stuff. And this is where they were mentioning that there is, I guess, occupied by the tenant or something that the inspector mentioned about. There are a lot of us, uh, stuff was stored here, so therefore he didn't have access to some of the areas to inspect. Now this looks like the, the water tank here. And this might be the heater. Okay. Now I'm going to go, go upstairs. Yeah, coming through here, the steps, different carpet. Going up here. There are some pictures, African art type. And here to your right, when you go up, is the master bedroom. The master bedroom also have high ceilings, pretty good size, plenty of windows. This is the master bath. And I assume on both sides, yeah, so his and her walking closets. It's not that big, but will do.
Okay, you have the shower, the bathtub here. There is an extra step, so you can easily get in. It's not that deep, and you have a window. And again, high ceiling. I like this feature a lot, and a lot of people do. And separate toilet. And separate shower. Shower has a feature where you can sit down. It's a large shower. Very nice. Okay. Now, that is the master bedroom. We are going to look at the other bedrooms. This is kind of a long hallway. Has linen closets here. To the left, they are using this room as a gym. This is a bonus room, of course. Again, has the high ceiling. High ceiling is a very attractive feature of a house, in my opinion. Okay. Then in here you have the, the second bedroom with the full bathroom attached. Full bathroom. Has windows. has a closet with sliding doors that's the second bedroom this is the third bedroom so office room three bedrooms and another bonus room which they use as a gym again this is the third bedroom high ceiling Close it again with sliding doors. And plenty of windows. There's nice custom window. And everything has industrial shutters throughout the house. Another bathroom. So so three full uh, one, two three actually four bathrooms here all the four are full bathrooms and that is inside the house and I like to go to the backyard and look at the pool Going downstairs. <coughs> We're going to go through the kitchen and get out to the out to the pool area and has a patio the pool area has a barbecue stand here there's the side of the backyard with plants and Concrete, a little bit landscaping, but the landscaping is done very nicely. All you got to do is put some water. A 
very beautiful indeed little island here and you have the fireplace I guess uh, this one has a flower it's beautiful and you have the jacuzzi tub and the pool long narrow pool but it's a very beautiful one and I'm walking to the left side of the house now or right side of the house depending on your view which way you come from it has a nice size yard and it's all paved and landscaped there's your outer wall and there's a street going behind there and I, I assume there are some things that the home inspection report mentioned are like rotted wood or dry wood and some maybe termite damage it could be normal for the age of the house and that's about it thank you